right, we're back with our last segment with Will Graham, Chris Rivera, and Lee Howell. All right, let's talk about this. This says there may be no shortage of jobs, but companies are ghosting applicants. I'm not really sure they really want to hire for great pay or they just want employees who want to pay minimum wage. All right, what's our thoughts on that? Are we seeing that? Are we hearing that complaint? Uh, I'll, I'll start us off. We, we hear a bit of that. Um, and, you know, there has this been this experience of the job seeker market that employers have been ghosting their applicants for years. Um, I trust that employers are very eager to find the right talent to bring into their organizations. And as Will mentioned in the earlier response, they are hyper inundated with applications and things like that, which does take some time to get through. And so it's not to make an excuse for the employer community, but it's to say that, you know, they're looking to get the right person in that kind of probably moving through those applications as quickly as they possibly can. But um, I can certainly understand how job seekers could feel that employers are saying globally, we need talent, we need talent, we need talent. And we have job seekers that are applying and they're, they're not getting responses as quickly as they're hearing, I need, I need, I need. So uh, there's probably some truth, but I, I say let's offer some grace and understanding. All right, you got anything to add, Will? Otherwise, I'm going to hit you with another question. Yeah, I, I mean, it's a bit of a cardinal sin on the employer side that I think they can do a better job of. I think like Chris is saying, though, it's probably more to almost not having enough HR staff in place or enough, you know, supervisors that are supposed to do hiring or or if, if you run low in one category of your business, it can mess up interviewing and things like that. So I think grace on both sides is really needed, like Chris mentioned, and 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 they'll you know they'll they'll eventually get it worked out and, and keep applying to other 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 jobs as well all right lee this one's for you this one says my daughter just graduated from chapel hill she's concerned her applications for employment won't be competitive due to a low gpa we say most people won't even look at that what do you say um well first off congratulations on your graduation <laughs> <laughs> i know that's a, a very special time uh, in everybody's life that it graduates um, I would say general rule of thumb when it does come to listing your GPA on your resume, only include your GPA if you have above a 3.0. Um, again, just go back to say the general rule of thumb is that if it's below a 3.0, it won't really impress an employer. Um, so hopefully you did graduate with that. Okay, and if not, you just leave it off and you just say I graduated. I mean, that's, that's the it. main point, right? You graduated, you got the diploma, let's move on. Okay, all right, um, Will, um, I know that this is a um, uh, near and dear to your heart. This person says, what information does my special needs teen need to have in order to get a summer job? Yeah, no, thank you for giving me that one, Tanya. I appreciate it. Hey, I'm, I'm in the same boat as you there, uh, my mother or father. So just give me a call on my direct line, 336-897-2137. I'll be happy to personally help help you and your child there. All right, so he's got, he's got family um, history there, and so he knows the kinds of things that you're looking for and the kinds of questions that you're going to ask. So hit up Will Graham with that one. All right, what about this one? Where can I find remote part-time jobs? Do those exist? Yeah, in, in, in some cases they do, and you can find them about anywhere. It's about where you're searching and how you're searching. And so, you know, there are a lot of different types of job boards out there, the Monsters and the Indeeds and you know, certainly the Grand Personnels and the NC Works online. Um, you know, I would say scour those job boards, search or filter by part time, look keyword search it as remote. They do exist, uh -huh. um, you know, just by quick review of part time job opportunities here in Guilford County that are posted in NC Works. Uh, there are some 500 plus part-time opportunities if you were to whittle that down by keyword search and i'm sorry i didn't have time to do that um you know you'll you'll likely find those opportunities and if you do apply for them and you're in that interview and it's not expressed that it's a remote offering certainly ask is there some flexibility during that interview okay really quick lee i've got a question recap the teen job fair that's tomorrow <laughs> so the 500 uh, Chief Summer Youth Employment Initiative is going to be tomorrow at the Greensboro NC Works Career Center uh, located at 2301 West Meadowview Road from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Uh, we're going to have at least over 20 employers at the Career Center that are all looking to hire young adults between the ages of 16 to 24. Uh, we're going to be there. Next Gen is going to be there, um, you know, representing and helping out. Um, so it, we're really looking forward to a big turnout. All right, get those teenagers out there because that's where the job <laughs> fair is tomorrow. Thank you so much for your uh, expertise and your time. We appreciate it. If you missed any of this, it's going to be in the two wants to know section.